Who do you look up to in the league? You look at a guy like Michael Jordan, how he mastered the game and how he studied the game and his work ethic towards the game. You know, you had to admire that. Michael Jordan had everything that you could possibly imagine. Six rings. He still wants to come back for more. It's never enough. It's never enough. Don't rely on basketball for your happiness, because it's not going to happen. You make sure that you have something there for yourself for when the game is over, you know exactly what you want to do. The important thing is finding a woman that you can spend the rest of your life with, man, and setting up a family. And that makes me happy, man. And to you guys right now, that seems like years down the road. But I'm telling you, it creeps up, man. Just do your thing. Enjoy life. Play the game that you love. And go for what you know, man. Maybe I'll see you in the league one of these days. Fourth time in the finals. Thanks to that man right over there. If I didn't have you, I would have probably, you know. The Lakers boys want to take care of the one-on-one. I know, right? Yeah. Yeah. Kobe. Yeah. He don't let the game come to him. Mm -hmm. no, he just wrapped his feet. He's going to make his game. Make his game. I'm going to make this a one-on-one -on -one game. Yeah. Look, I figured after the first four attempts, it didn't go. What? After the first four attempts. If I was a teammate, I wouldn't pass him the ball. Hey, you want this ball again, brother. You better rebound. <laughs> and number 24, Kobe Bryant. When you have a dream as a kid to say, okay, I want to play in the NBA, sometimes it feels like the worst thing you can do is actually share that dream. The biggest challenge, I think, is to believe it in your dream and not losing that childlike innocence and quality. I have decided to skip college and take my talent to the NBA. Make sure that your dreams always stay pure. It's really a matter of protecting your dreams, protecting your imagination. That's really the key. And when you do that, then the world just seems limitless. And once I came to the NBA and I looked around, I saw all the guys that weren't working as much as I was, then I started to understand that you know, how I went about it is hard work. To me, it was just, I just love what I do, so I want to do it as much as possible. Follow your passion first. First, 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 first. Then you got to sit there and ask yourself, okay, what am I truly passionate about? What do I enjoy doing? And when you feel that way, I, honestly, I mean, you feel like you have never worked a day in your life. It's the most fun thing in the world. You get up in the morning excited about what you're doing. And you got to be really honest with yourself about it. If you wake up in the morning and you're dreading going to work, dude, do something else. <laughs> Do something else, and those are hard decisions to make. But when you make those decisions, it's a very liberating experience, and you find out that the rewards will come. You know, it's just a matter of what's important to you, mm -hmm. and what's important to you. For for whatever reason, you know, I, I felt like um, I didn't feel good about myself if I wasn't doing everything I could to be the best version of myself. Mm -hmm. If I felt like I left anything on the table. Um, it would eat away at me. I wouldn't be able to look myself in the mirror. Those times when you get up early and you work hard, those times when you stay up late and you work hard, those times when you don't feel like working, you're too tired, you don't want to push yourself, but you do it anyway. That is actually the dream. Rest at the end, not in the middle. I'm not gonna rest, I'm gonna keep on pushing now. When we're laying on our deathbed, you're not gonna worry about how much money you had, how much power you had, how much prestige, you're going to see that that was all game, that that was all an illusion. The only thing that's going to matter is the impact you had on other people's lives. We are all on a separate journey. But the beautiful thing about our life here on this earth is at my funeral, they ain't going to talk about my success. They're going to talk about who Nick was and how Nick lived and how Nick loved and encouraged. Success is incredibly important, but even more important than success, it's having an impact. It's knowing you haven't walked the planet in vain. It's knowing that because you've been here, you've blessed lives, you've developed people. 
you have made the world a better place. The effect you have on others is the most valuable currency there is. Everything you gain in life will rot and fall apart. And all that will be left of you is what was in your heart. God, I love you guys. And uh, I love you guys. And uh, my family, to my family, my wife Vanessa, our daughters Natalia and Gianna, you know, thank you guys for all your sacrifice. You know, for all the hours I spent in the gym working and training. And Vanessa, you holding down the family the way that you have. I, I, I can't, there's no way that I can thank you enough for that. So yeah, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. And uh, what can I say? Mamba out. When Kobe Bryant died, a piece of me died. Until we meet again one day. We love you both and miss you forever and always. Mommy.